All right, so I'm gonna do this in a couple parts. So first, a little bit of backstory, and then the next part. So, back in April, my wife asked me what I wanted for my birthday. And I said, an AR-15. Uh, specifically, I was looking at the Ruger NPR. And so, for my birthday, my wife wanted to get that for me. So, I started my hunt. Turner's, Turner Outdoors had on their website a featureless NPR, and I wanted to go buy it. But with this whole pandemic thing going on, I had to schedule an appointment because they just wouldn't let anyone in their front door. So I made an appointment, and the appointment was set for like three days. And when that third day came around, it was a Friday afternoon, uh, I went to go purchase it. And lo and behold, their website, between that time of appointment setting, uh, updated and it was no longer in stock. But that didn't discourage me. I figured I'd just place an order and wait till it shipped in. So that's what I did. I went into Turner's and I said, this is what I want. And the guy's like, all right, well, we can... We don't have any in stock right now, but when you can place a deposit down and when we get a shipment in, we'll start the paperwork. And so I said, let's do it. And then he said, oh, we ain't getting any. We're not ordering it, ordering nothing. Because this whole pandemic, the dealers and distributors are not distributing and shipping or dealing. So I went home empty-handed. I didn't order order anything. And so I got online and I started checking around with other gun stores. And uh, I called, I don't know, somewhere between 60, maybe 70 gun shops in Southern California, Northern California, and Central California, and nobody had the Ruger. Uh, I take that back. One shop had in Southern California the the uh, the first generation Ruger AR-15, uh, but I didn't want that. I wanted the MPR because it had an 18-inch barrel. It had a sweet trigger group. It had Ruger's trigger group in there, and and I like Ruger. I bought the, 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 the carbine 9mm, and I love it. So I figured, why not stick with Ruger? So anyways, I gave up on the Ruger, and I started looking at something else beyond my budget. And the next best thing that I could find was the Bravo Company Reese 16. And, uh... And lo and behold, nobody had that either in California. And I could not order anything from out of state and have it shipped here to California without it being California compliant. And I didn't want to spend, you know, a uh, hundred bucks to pay somebody to remove the pistol grip and flash hider if it had it and the adjustable buttstock and then pay to have those things put on that are featureless and so it was just more money essentially so i thought long and hard about it and i decided to build my own and so i started buying parts late 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 april and some of those parts have come in and we'll get to that in just a moment. 